Hey babes! Welcome back to my channel. So right now I am about to head into Meijer. As you guys can tell, I'm sitting in the car. I only really start my videos like this in the car if I'm about to go hygiene shopping. So this is going to be a hygiene shopping vlog. So we're outside of Meijer. Like I said, I haven't been to Meijer to hygiene shop in a good minute. So we're going to bend the block, spin the, spin the block, whatever you want to call it. We're going to try it again because last time I was in here, they didn't really have much. So let's go see if they're stocked up, if they got some new product. So anyways, yeah, we're about to go in here, do some hygiene shopping and kind of shop around, see what they have. I want to get some more curly hair stuff as well because I've been really like into getting my curls to come back. As you guys know, I did dye my hair, like I said. But yeah, I'm trying to get my curls to come back because they a little, they a little damaged from me coloring it. So if you guys are excited to see what I'm gonna pick up in today's video, definitely stay tuned, and I will see you guys inside. I wanted to come to the baby section first because I really want to get some new lotion for the baby. So I've been looking at this one. It's the Johnson Skin Nourishing Moisturizing Lotion. It's in the scent Vanilla and Oat Scents. I don't know if I want to get this one for sure though because I've really been obsessed with, where is it? I hope they have it here. It's by Johnson. It just smells so amazing. It's like the fresh cotton one. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm obsessed with it. But they do have the body wash. They also have the lotion. And then they also have the, what is this one? The Johnson's Nourish Shea and Cocoa Butter scented one. Um, I have tried the Johnson's bath time one before. This stuff smells really good. The lotion to this smells as good as well. I haven't seen this brand before. This is called the Tots by Baby Ganics 2-in-1 Curly Shampoo and Conditioner. You know I'm a sucker for some curly hair stuff. This is a detangling spray at apricot chamomile. So they have that. They also have a foaming shampoo and body wash in chamomile verbena, a bubble bath, which is fragrance free. And then they also have the Dove ones. Love this stuff. I feel like I've bought the Dove baby lotion or yeah, the baby lotion and the body wash so many times. I would highly, highly recommend any of these. And then I haven't seen these before, but this is a baby lotion by, I don't even know how to say this, Pippi, Pippi? Pipate. Hello, la la. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, so they have that. They have a baby balm, a baby oil, a baby shampoo and wash, and then an eczema lotion. We are down the hair aisle, and I honestly have been loving the Aussie Moist Conditioner, so I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up one of these. Um, it's $6.19, you guys. I love this smell. If you guys haven't tried Aussie Moist before, it is absolutely amazing. My curls are so juicy and bouncy when I'm done using it. Sometimes I leave it in. Actually, most of the time I leave this conditioner in and it smells amazing. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of these. If you haven't tried one, try it out. It probably has bad ingredients in it, but honestly, I love it. So I'm not gonna stop using it. I am gonna pick up one of those. I did recently just pick up the Curls Creme Brulee Whipped Curl Cream. You guys, I would not lie to you. This stuff smells like heaven. Ooh, they even have a Goddess Curls Gel or Jelly. I haven't tried that yet. This stuff is amazing. It leaves my curls so moisturized. It smells like a vanilla cupcake. Like it's the best vanilla scent I've ever smelled. Um, and it also leaves my curls super moisturized. It has really good ingredients in it. And then I would also recommend the, um, oh, this is not it, but it is, it looks kind of just like this. It's the deep conditioner to this brand. But if you guys haven't tried the Blueberry Bliss Reparative Leave-In Conditioner, love that stuff. And then if you use this after, literally you'll have the best wash and go ever. And then they also have the Curls Lavish Curl Moisturizer. It's like a second day curl refresher. So they have that too. I also wanted to show you guys this line by Pantene. It's amazing. This guy actually just walked up to me and asked me what conditioner I would recommend. And I recommended this one. I bought this conditioner like five times. This is the Deep Hydrating Co-Wash. I think it is a little bit more expensive. I promise you guys, it's worth it. And then I also have the Moisture Boost Shampoo and the moisture boost conditioner i even have like the detangling milk and then i just seen that they also have a hair repair cleansing conditioner they also have a intense hydrating oil a curl awakening spray and then they also have a curl defining pudding so i would honestly honestly if you guys need new curly hair products i would try these they're amazing it provides so much moisture and slip to the hair it's amazing so yeah just wanted to show you guys that okay so now we're done the body wash aisle you guys and look at all the little baby stuff oh my gosh they have this Aveeno kids curly hair shampoo they're starting to come out with so much curly hair stuff for kids and I love it so they have this one with oat extract and shea butter gently cleanses and nourishes and hydrates curly hair they have that and then they have a 
two-in-one hydrating shampoo and conditioner with oat extract. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that for her. I'm gonna have to make a whole separate video just for Anaya because there's too much stuff over here that I wanna buy. But I would also recommend these Raw Sugar Kids shampoo and conditioner. I love this stuff. The strawberry one smells amazing and it's only $4.99. They have this one which is a shampoo and conditioner, banana, strawberry, and then this one's coconut and aloe vera. But the body washes are amazing. So I would definitely try those if you haven't tried those for your kids. They also have this Raw Sugar Kids coconut milk and banana detangler. Ooh, for thick, unruly hair. Yes. Okay, anyways, they have those. Let's go see what they got up over here. I've really been loving the Raw Sugar brand, and they have like this whipped sugar scrub that I cannot find, but I keep seeing all over YouTube, and I just never can find it. But anyways, they have this Time to Detox and Restore Foaming Bath, and it's pineapple, McQueen berry, and coconut. That one's, I feel like I would definitely try that one out. They also have the sugar scrub to it, which is the exfoliate, refresh, and replenish. It's the same scent. Then they also have the moisturizing body butter. So never seen those before. They also have the ready to nourish and soothe foaming bath. Um, this is raw coconut and mango. They have the scrub and then also the body butter. And then my favorite scrub is the watermelon and fresh mint one. Literally, I can rave about this for days and days and days. Love it so, so, so much. Highly recommend. They are a little bit more pricey for all of their stuff, but I, I promise you it's gonna be worth it, girl. They also have a lemon sugar one and they have a lemon sugar body butter on sale for $2.99. Okay, I'm picking this up. You guys know I can't pass up on this. $2.99 and it was, what, $11.99? Oh yeah, we're picking that up. And then they have a whip scrub. This is the only one that they have, but it was like a different scent that I wanted, so I'm not gonna get this one, but this one is the green tea cucumber and aloe one. So they do have the whip scrubs, but it's just not the scent that I want. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna definitely go ahead and pick up this lemon sugar one, because this one does actually smell really good as well. So I'm picking this up. And then I also wanted to show you guys these Neutrogena body oils and what are these, like shower gels, bath gels? Yeah, um, this one is my absolute favorite. Love this stuff. I have like three of these at home. Love it so much. It smells amazing. This is the Ocean Mist one, but they never have the pear and green tea one. I love this one as well. It smells so good. Then they also have this one, which I don't think it has a scent, and then this one's pomegranate. Then I do have their Light Sesame Formula Body Oil, which I love. It makes your body feel super soft, especially if you put it on before you put lotion on. It, like right after you get out the shower, girl, I'm telling you, your man gonna be like, girl, you feel soft. <laughs> I know. So I've also been wanting to get some more of these foaming bath salts. They don't have the coconut one that I want, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this one. This is the Relaxing Care Lavender and Chamomile scented one. This one still really smells good, and I feel like it doesn't really have like a strong lavender scent. I'm not really a lavender type of person, but it does smell really good, and it makes the bath really soft. So I am gonna go ahead and pick up one of these. They also have a lot of the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrubs stocked up. Like they have, it looks like Alto up in here, y'all. They have this Papaya Paradise one, the Tahitian Vanilla Bean. They have the Coconut Colada Shea Sugar Scrub. This one smells so, so amazing. The Exotic Bloom, I said Shea Sugar Scrub. <laughs> the Exotic Bloom one is probably my top favorite out of all of them. Then they have the Coconut Lime. This one is the Vitamin C one, and then the Watermelon and the Moroccan Rose. So they are stocked up up in here, y'all. Moving on to body washes. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this um, sensitive rose water and pink sea salt scrub and wash by OGX. I've had this before and I honestly really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it because of the scent, but it's so nice on the skin. I usually go for the coconut coffee scrub because it smells amazing and I'm obsessed and I love it and I'm never going to like not buy it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this one because it's so, so nice. They also have a Radiant Glow Argan Oil from Morocco Body Wash. Now this one I have not tried before, but I really love the conditioner to this brand and I really feel like the conditioner does help my hair with like heat damage. I've also seen a lot of people use the conditioner to this brand for heat damage. So yeah, I would highly recommend the conditioner to this, but I've never tried the body wash. I really do love the Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash as well, like the whole line. Let's just say the whole OGX line. I just love it. I just haven't tried some of them, so. Yeah, I am gonna go ahead and pick up this one though. They also have my favorites, like literally my top favorites, St. Ives Soothing Body Wash with oatmeal and shea butter. It suds up amazingly. It leaves the bathroom smelling like vanilla cupcakes. I love it, it's Chef's Kiss. Then they also have the Hydrating Body Wash. This is the Coconut Water and Orchid one. 
Love that one. Then I seen that they had the Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp. This is an exfoliating body wash. I haven't tried this one yet, but let me know if you guys have tried this one. They're all pretty affordable as well. I feel like definitely for a body wash and how big they are, definitely is not going to you know break the bank. I kind of forgot how good these Olay Moisture Ribbons Plus body washes are. They have the Shea and Notes of Blue Lotus body wash. They have the Shea and Notes of Manuka Honey, Shea and Lavender Oil, and then the Shea and Notes of Peony Blossom. I'm kind of stuck between these two because these two are my top favorites. I don't know which ones I want to get, guys. I think I'm just going to get both. So yeah, I'm going to pick up both of these, but honestly, if you guys haven't tried the Moisture Ribbons Plus body washes, I would highly recommend when you wash up with the body wash. It literally feels like silk on the skin, so I would highly recommend those if you haven't tried those. Now, ever think I've seen these Degree Maximum Recovery body washes before? They have an instant cooling one, which is in the scent Icy Mint. They have a tart cherry one that fights fatigue. Um, exfoliating Boost, which is tea tree. And then a relaxing one, Reset Relaxing, which is a lavender one so they have those let me know if you guys have tried those before i've never seen them i kind of want to smell them so yeah let me see i feel like the, the cherry one i don't know they have really weird scents let me try this real quick Ooh, that actually smells really good oh my goodness hold up wait a minute maybe next time look what i just found i don't think i've ever seen this before if i have I don't remember seeing it. This is the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish in Crushed Almond and Mango Butter. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have not seen this before. I literally have not seen this before. Let me know if you guys have tried this. I've never tried these Love Beauty and Planet body washes before, but they have a rose water and niacinamide one. They have a watermelon and hyaluronic acid one. And then they also have a kiwi and peptides. Then they also have an I think it's acai berry and retinoid one so let me know if you guys have tried those because i'd definitely be interested in trying them but i'm just so scared i need reviews first okay let me know what the tea is if you guys have tried those it also looks like avino has these new daily moisturizing yogurt body washes um this one is the vanilla scent they have a apricot scent a coconut scent and then what is this chamomile and a fresh scent i've never seen these before Definitely would try the vanilla one. I'm gonna see how it smells really quick though. Ooh, that, it literally smells just like yogurt, y'all, like Greek yogurt. <laughs> Let me see this one. This one smells okay. Hmm, I don't know. I might try one. So I just found dupes for designer perfumes, you guys. They have this light blue inspired by Dolce Gabbana light blue. And I've been wanting to try that one. That's so crazy. It's only $11.99. Um, they have this Angel inspired by Terry Mugler's Angel one. And then they have the Bombshell inspired by Victoria's Secret Bombshell. Oh my gosh, like what? Excuse me, when did they start doing this type of stuff? They even have the little roll-on perfumes as well. So they also have this one inspired by Prada's Candy. Ooh, you guys, I cannot believe I just found this. It also looks like they're starting to get new hemp lotions in. They have this Koa and Sweet Almond one. They have a sweet jasmine and rose, the pomegranate one, blushing grapefruit and raspberry cream, an exotic green tea and Asian pear. I've never seen most of these. I do have this one at home. Smells okay. Um, they have a fresh coconut and watermelon one, and then an age-defying original. They have a sugarcane and papaya, pink pomelo and Himalayan sea salt, and then a pink citron, pink citron and mimosa flower. Like, what? They are starting to set their game up at Meyer. Anyways, yeah, so they have all of those as well. I am amazed right now. They have Philosophy here, and I've been wanting to try this Amazing Grace perfume for the longest. Oh my gosh. So they have the Amazing Grace perfume. They have the Pure Grace lotion. Amazing Grace, is this another perfume? Body cream. Amazing Grace bath gel. And then they also have this Pure Grace body spritz. And then this is a perfume. They have the same ones. A vanilla birthday cake, melon daiquiri, and then a raspberry sherbet. Like what? I've never even seen these in here before. I also thought these were really cute. They have these Acure Welcome to Skin Wellness Brightening Glow Lotion. This one is Sweet Orange and Colonial Oatmeal. This one's Calming Itch and Irritation Lotion with Lavender and Colonial Oatmeal. Seriously Soothing 24-Hour Moisture Lotion. This one's the Unscented... It says cocoa butter and colloidal oatmeal and then everyday eczema lotion which is unscented and colloidal oatmeal i've heard a lot about these as well so let me know if you guys have tried those so i just seen that they have this pure venus by gillette 
um, shaving creams that I've never seen before. So this one is Manuka Honey and Vanilla. They have a Deep Sea Minerals one. Oh my gosh, like that is so cute. I would definitely try the Manuka Honey and Vanilla one. Um, and then I see that they have the Tree Hut here as well. Shave Prep Sugar Scrub. And they also have the Shave Oil. Love the Shave Oil, you guys. It is absolutely a game changer. Love it so much. It works amazing and I would highly recommend that. And then they also have all of the regular ones here as well, the Eos, Cremo, whatever. Is that Cremo or Cremo? I don't know. But they have my favorite one, the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel. It's for sensitive skin, okay? Helps you shave less often. So they have those. And then they're starting to come out with, like, so many different cute little ones in different scents. They have a hydrating, what is this, Triple Moisture Complex. What scent is this, vanilla? It looks like vanilla. I don't know, maybe I just can't read um oh shea butter and then they have a vanilla sugar one and then they have a coconut delight one and then what's this they have this is oh aloe vera <laughs> oh you guys i cannot read but yeah how cute are those so cute love the packaging Ooh, and then they also came out with these gillette venus razors so this is this one's in coconut they have a sugar berry one, a white tea one, then they have like the refillable things for them. And they also have a Brisa, Fresca, whatever, I don't know how to say that. But yeah, they have that. And then I see that they have these Radiant Skin ones, pearl powder. I've never seen nothing like this before. That's crazy. Ooh, you guys know I love me some Shea Moisture, so I'm definitely going to be picking up the curl enhancing smoothie if they have it somewhere don't know i'm gonna have to look but i see that they have this jamaican black castor oil black seed stronghold styling gel love this leave-in lotion or restoring lotion love like this whole brand i would highly recommend if you have heat damage and are trying to get rid of it and also trying to grow your hair try the jamaican black castor oil line they even have a mask to go with it as well so i would highly highly suggest this line if you're trying to grow your hair or get your curls back they also have a Miracle Multi-Benefit Shampoo with Sugarcane Extract and Meadow Foam Seed. So they have a shampoo and conditioner and then a silicone-free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment. Like, what? Okay. And it also looks like Maui Moisture is coming out with new hair care stuff, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. Like, it's so iridescent and shiny. This is a shine and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm not even going to hold y'all. But it's a shampoo for dull hair. <laughs> And then they have the conditioner to it. They have this color protection with sea minerals one, which I've seen before. And then they have this castor oil and neem oil one, which I don't think I've seen that one before. Look how beautiful this aisle is. I just feel like this aisle is so, so beautiful, you guys. It's so beautifully lit up. <laughs> Anyways, I absolutely love this stuff. I'm obsessed. I cannot stir away from this. This is the sparkle mint one. They have a clean mint, an immigrating icy mint mild mint and then a rainforest mint one i didn't even see that they had a dazzling mint one like knowing me and knowing i love sparkles i completely skipped over this one but they have a dazzling mint i haven't tried this one before i also really love the smart mouth oral rinse as well um i usually buy this one which is the what is this one all day confidence i'm back home and i'm just gonna go ahead and do a haul of all of the hygiene products that i picked up so let's get into it. So the first product that I picked up is the Raw Sugar Body Butter. Um, this is in the scent Lemon Sugar and it says it's moisturizing and reviving. You guys, this stuff smells literally top tier. Like, And I would never buy like lemon scented body lotion or like body washes, things like that. Um, I honestly love lemon scents for cleaning products, but this stuff is top tier. I remember smelling this. Um, a coworker had some lotion and she let me try it. And this is what it was, and I didn't even know it smelled that good. It literally smells like lemon cake, lemon cupcakes. Like, I want to just eat it. It smells absolutely amazing, and I think I'm in love. So I'm going to try the body scrub to this and also the body wash as well because it's literally that girl. Anyways, um, yeah, so it was $2.99 on clearance. It's originally $11.99. I think that was definitely a good steal. But yes, you guys, this stuff I'm obsessed with. It's going to be, like, my new in-my-purse lotion that I carry with me, so... Yes, this is the first product that I picked up. The next thing I picked up is this OGX Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Scrub and Wash. I love the little like scrubby things in the inside. I'm going to try to show you guys if I can. So yeah, like little, see how they have like 
little pink scrubby thing but yes if you guys have not tried this body wash before i definitely recommend this stuff smells absolutely amazing i never thought that i would really like the scent of this or like like using something this scent but it's such a sweet girly scent and i'm obsessed with it so yes definitely give this a try if you haven't tried that out the next product that i picked up is the olay moisture ribbons plus c and notes of blue lotus body wash i constantly find myself going back to the moisture ribbons plus body washes because they're so soothing they're so like silky i don't know how to explain them but they're so just nice and rich you know what i mean like it's such a good body wash and then i also had to grab the shea and notes of manuka honey one as well i love this one this one has like a fresh but warm scent at the same time if that makes sense i love it super rich super moisturizing it feels like silk i highly recommend these so yes that is the next product i picked up as well the next thing i picked up is the aussie miracle moist conditioner this one has avocado and jojoba oil um i love 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 this conditioner i always am repurchasing it it has lots of slip it's really moisturizing it smells absolutely top tier amazing immaculate chef's kiss literally the smell of this stuff is so good that i leave this conditioner in my hair and i get so many compliments every time i do it and i know i'm not supposed to but I don't care. It smells amazing. It smells so good. But yes, love this stuff. I never use the shampoo to it though because I'm really iffy with shampoos, but I absolutely love the conditioner. I would highly suggest if you're looking for a new conditioner. Now, it doesn't have the good curly girl ingredients in it, but it does its job, okay? So I love it and I don't think I'm going to stop buying it. The next thing I picked up is the Maui Moisture Hair Mask. This is the Heal and Hydrate and Shea Butter Hair Mask for dry damaged hair. It softens, quench, soften, quench, and repair. And then it also has the list of what it doesn't have in here. So I really love that. I feel like I've repurchased this so many times and I've like lost count of how many times I've repurchased it. I definitely feel like Maui Moisture is such a good brand for curly hair. Not even just curly hair, but just hair in general. It has a lot of good ingredients in there. But yes, love this stuff. And I've been really getting into deep conditioning like twice a week now. I used to do it once a week, but I'm doing it twice a week because I did dye my hair. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick this up as well. The next thing I picked up is the Olay Body Science B3 Plus Vitamin C Cream Body Wash. This one is cleansing and brightening. So yeah, I did go ahead and pick up this as well. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. I haven't tried it. I know that it's a new like line that Olay came out with, so I definitely wanted to try it out. So let me know if you guys have tried it because I have not tried it yet, but yeah. Anyways, this is a nice product that I picked up. The next thing I picked up is another one of these Dove Foaming Bath Salts. This is the Relaxing Care one with lavender and chamomile scent. You guys already know that I do not like anything that's like lavender scented. I don't know, it's just not for me. But these bath salts, you guys, they're not even like a super strong lavender. But the reason why I love them so much is because it makes the bath water feel super, super soft. So yeah, I would definitely try these if you haven't tried those. And the last thing I picked up is this Johnson's Kids Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner. Love this stuff. I will never use anything else on my daughter's hair. I'm just kidding. I use other stuff on my daughter's hair, but this stuff is top tier. The smell of this is so amazing. The feel of it is really slippery and it provides so much moisture for her hair. It has shea butter in it. It helps smooth frizzy hair and defines curls. So I really love this for her and it smells amazing and it does the job. Like literally it does exactly what it needs to but this is the last product that i picked up these are all of the hygiene products that i picked up in today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i feel like i haven't done a haul in so long and i honestly miss it i love it so much so let me know if you guys like the hauls at the end or if you just like straight to the point show me what i got in the store or whatever i don't know let me know what you guys like better either hauls or no hauls at the end of the video let me know if you guys have also tried any of these products that i picked up today as well but yes, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hygiene shopping vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.